Aloha, everyone. Hi, I'm Kahuna Bob, and we're here at Oceanside Pier for the 15th annual Oceanside Longboard Surfing Club Contest. We have some of the top young amateur surfers in the state of California competing here this weekend at Oceanside, as well as legends, minahunis, women, tandem surfing. It's a whole big longboard bash here, and we're glad you're along to enjoy the 15th annual Oceanside Longboard Surfing Club Contest. I'm down here with Jim Dudley, president of the Oceanside Longboard Contest, to uh, have a couple words with him. Hello, Jim. Hi, Bob. Uh, thanks for having me here. So we've moved the contest back to the north side this year. What do you feel about that? Well, I really like to surf on the north side of the pier, and as you can see, we've got some really good waves going right now. Um, we actually moved the contest to the south side uh, after the fourth annual just because we had a, a bigger beach area, and we also had the, the band shell directly behind us. But I think the surfers have always wanted to have the contest on this side, so we're real happy about having it back here this this year. So we've got some of the top longboard surfers from the state of California here today. Um, many of the legends of surfing, guys who were world champs back in the 60s, as well as the top young short longboarders of today. Uh, how are they dealing with these conditions out here? Well, the surf is actually about two to four feet. It seems to be building a little bit. 
uh, but the waves are real good. The young kids, as well as the legends and older fellows, are having a great time. So, Jim, tell me a little bit about the club. I know it's been around for a long time. Well, Bob, as you know, the, the surf club started in 1983, and our first contest actually was with the Santa Cruz Longboard Surfing Club, and it was a closed contest just to people that were in those two clubs. What happened was there were so many people that wanted to enter the contest but weren't in the club, the next year we decided to open it up. So we have been um, doing this contest for 15 years, and through that evolution of time, we've uh, been very actively involved in trying to promote professional longboard surfing and longboard surfing um, and the lifestyle and the clean sport that it is. The city of Oceanside has been gracious enough to, to let us use their beaches and so forth over the years, and uh, I think all the people that come down to the beach as well as the competitors have a real good time every year. I'm down here right now with Tara Lee Torburn, Chief Administrator for the Oceanside Longboard Club, who has put in tireless hours of work getting just another one of these great Oceanside Longboard Club contests together. Tara Lee, how are you? I think I'm doing fine today. The first day of the event is always a tough one, getting everything organized, vendors set up, contestants underway, and today's the day to have fun and relax. 
How many people do we have in the event this year? Uh, this year we have about 145 contestants. That's a little bit lower than some of our big years, but it's a great number to manage for an event. And we have age divisions from 16 and under Minahoonies all the way up to how old? Grandmasters, those 50 and over, and we got a full division there. All right. Some of the bigger names in that one. We've got uh, Dale Dobson actually coming back to defend a title that he has held seven times from this event. Wow, Dale has been racking up the points here in Oceanside for a long time. But uh, he's going to come up against some tough competition this weekend. Yes, he sure is. When we get to the finals in this event, even the semifinals, sometimes even the sign-ups, it looks like it could be a final heat all the way around. So with this good surf we have this weekend, it's looking like a great event. I know every year the club benefits many charitable organizations in the area. Can you tell us who the, the contest will be benefiting this year? Yes, we're giving money to Multiple Sclerosis Foundation as our main beneficiary, and then we'll be giving money to local City of Oceanside recreation programs. They have a scholarship fund set up for kids who are unable to afford the classes. In particular, we like to thank the surf club, the surf course during the summer, and they can be future contestants in this event. I'm down here right now with the youngest competitor in the history of the Oceanside Longboard Surfing Contest. What's your name, son? Rusty Edwards. Rusty, how old are you? Seven years old. Wow, seven years old and you're in a surf contest already. How did you do today, son? I got, I had, I got third place, but I had lots of fun. Are you going to come back next year and compete? Probably, yeah. All right. So tell me. Uh, what's the most fun thing in surfing? Everything. Everything? Yep. I represent is Makana Kekai, which means the gift of the sea. I'm here with Leleo Kinimaka. Leleo is the coach and captain of the outrigger canoe that you've been seeing. Leleo, you have a beautiful outrigger canoe. Thank you, Bob. Um, our canoe is a replica of ancient Hawaiian travel. It's about 45 foot long. It's six, it seats six men. And uh, basically what our club represents is ancient Hawaiian travel. What the Hawaiians used to do with these type of vessels is go from island to island and visit their families and relatives and also to provide fish and food for their tables. Along the years, people have turned it into a sport. And our club, we do participate in races. Mainly what we do is to carry on the heritage of the Aloha spirit and also uh, the respect for the ocean and ancient Hawaiian travel. This is our first year in the race season. We've done very well. Our club has won the uh, state championships in the B division out in Santa Barbara. Uh, we have uh, days where if you're just a beginner and you like to learn about the heritage of the club 
or the sport or just get involved in Trident paddling sometime, you can call 757 Surf and uh, find out more about our club. We're almost to the end of our race season right now, and what we're doing is uh, preparing for a nine man race, which goes from Avalon and Catalina, Avalon Harbor, to the back harbor in Newport, which is about a 36 mile race. Wow. And uh, this takes a lot of conditioning and practicing. We have a really good men's open crew this year, and uh, they've been working really hard at doing the best that they can. So, you know, we represent Oceanside. So when you see them, you know, if you're on the pier or whatever, cheer them on. I'm down here now with Chris Aarons, contest announcer. Let's talk a little bit about some of the great moments of the contest. You've been the announcer for 13 years. You've seen some of the crop of top pros who started out here as kids like the guys we have here today. Yeah, we see kids like uh, well, your son Rusty out here today. We saw this kid Dan just get straight tans. We've never, kids that we've never really even heard of, and now they're, they're making a big name for themselves. One of the names that comes to mind, of course, is Joel Tudor who now is probably one of the biggest names in longboarding today, but eight or nine years ago, Joel Tudor was a little kid, 13 years old, just running around on the sand and just blew everybody's mind when he made his uh, debut right here at Oceanside. Same with Kevin Connolly, made his debut at Oceanside. Nobody had heard of him, and uh, Kevin comes in and just takes over, charms everyone, and those, guys, those two especially, Wingnut as well. Um, Wingnut, um, the... Uh, co-star of Endless Summer 2. We've seen people like David Nueva, Donald Takayama. Uh, one of my favorite things used to be to see Skip Fry and Donald Takayama in the same heat.
I'm on the beach right now with one of the greatest nose riders of all time, Dale Dobson, six-time winner of the Oceanside Longboard Contest in years past. And Dale just had a great heat. Dale, that, uh, that was a wonderful nose riding heat there with a lot of hoots on the beach. Did you hear everybody going off? Yes, I, I heard him going off, and uh, I knew I had a real long ride, but I didn't know it was that long one, 17-something. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I didn't have my watch on, but 17 seconds is a long time to stay on the nose. You were on there for a long time. You pretty much covered the whole length of the beach. That was an amazing run. Actually, uh, I was going, when I was riding it, I started getting real relaxed because the wave was letting me relax a little bit because right. it kept peeling. So I got some little bit of style moves in it, you know, by lifting my arm up and expression, a little bit of yeah. style is what when I was riding it. Today we're proud to present this year's Leroy Granis Waterman's Award to Frank Hecklinger. I'd like to thank all the members of the Oceanside Longboard Club for what they're doing. I'd especially like to thank all of the young men and women who took part in the circuit conference to put on a great show and keep the tradition going. Thank you. In third place, in red from Coast Make, Mesa, Ryan Bellas. Last two here. Who's it gonna be? <laughs> we'll go with number one in blue, Dan Grinnell from Ohio. In second place is white, Andrew Lindrow. In third place, from Oceanside, California, Aaron Chuckway. Between Sean Hughes and Mike Sambet. Oh, oh. yeah. First place, Mike Sambetti, Carlsbad. Oh. Second place, Sean Hughes, Come on. Oh. In third place, in blue, Diana from Solana Beach. Last two. First place. Summer Romero. Second place in red, Louis Mosher. Okay, don't move. Let's give all the women a big hand. In sixth place. From Ventura, California, with 19.4 seconds on the nose, Steve Walden. In fifth place, with 25.89 seconds on the nose, Sean Hughes. In fourth place, from San Diego, George Popovich, with 26.75. In third place, from Rancho Santa Fe, our own Guy Takayama with 27.64. In second place, from La Jolla, Mark Etchings with 32.57 seconds on the nose, winning it, Dale Dobson with 46.23. This was a great heat to watch. So what I talk to my friends about and they thought it would be a good idea is to split the purse up in the top three. Dale gets five over there. You get two and third place gets one. I know what it's like to work at this. Really demanding. In third place, I knew they couldn't do this. They weren't going to do it, but they did it at the last minute. Third place, Adeline Weber. In 
First place, Brian and Isla. Second place, Todd and Wendy. In third place, Terry Gillard. Okay, what's it gonna be? Hey, you guys, three out of five. Here we go. In second place, in first place, Guy Takayama. Second place, Reese Patterson. All right. In third place, Coronado, John Gillum. In first place, San Diego. Any more? Second place, Bruce Dugan. You guys are great. In third place, from Manhattan Beach, Daryl Dickey. Oh, the tension balance. Is it going to be working? Okay, should I do first or second? Yeah, let's get it over. <laughs> okay, in first place, doing it again, Double D, Dale Dobson. In second place, Steve Walden. That was close. Let's have a big hand for these guys. They did great. Well, that's a wrap for the 15th annual Oceanside Longboard Surfing Club Contest. Three days of great surfing sunshine, good friends on the beach who could ask for anything more. Hope you enjoyed the Oceanside Longboard Surfing Club Contest. Aloha.